Hi, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to use a movie clip symbol in Flash so that I can repeat or reuse an animated item or library item. So I went over to clicker.com and I found a uh, free little flame graphic, so I've just got some fire here. And ultimately I want to make a little campfire, so I'll go ahead and create some logs to put in front of it to make it look more campfire-esque. So I'm over here in Flash, and I've already got my, uh, my flames in there. I just did a copy-paste and then I did a modify bitmap, then I did a trace bitmap to convert it into a uh, merge shape, basically, or a collection of merge shapes. So I've got my flames over here, and I'm going to go and select them all, and I will do F8, and I'm going to convert this to a movie clip symbol. And I'll go ahead and call it Campfire. Click OK, and then I'll double click on this new symbol so I can go into edit mode for that symbol. And let me just kind of move it over here in the middle so I'm clear what I'm working on. Now, I'm currently editing my campfire symbol. I can tell right here. Okay. And I'm going to go to my layer one and I'm going to put flames. I'm going to create a new layer. And I'll call this logs. And let me go ahead and draw a few logs. And I will start off with a uh, rectangle tool with a tan fill and a black stroke. I'll do a stroke of about two. And first I'll start off with a little little rectangle action going on. Then I'm going to switch over to an oval. And I'll do a little oval over there. Use my selection tool. And then I'll go to my alignment options. And I want to make sure these things are the same height. So I'll do a match size. So now they're the same height. And then I can take the little oval, put it right there on top of the log, selection tool, let me bend that back part out there so we get a little weird log shape action going on. And then I will use a pencil tool, I still have a two stroke on black, and let's see how artistic I can be, just a couple little lines, oh, I don't like those lines. Actually a little oval might be kind of nice in there, but let me do some straight lines going across. There we go, we got a few straight lines. And let me do this. I'm going to get rid of my fill for a moment. Do a little oval action. Um, my snapping, let me turn off snap align and snap the guides. Let's put this a little bit more manually in there. I don't know, that looks fair enough. That's as good as my artistic skill will let me get for a log. All right, with my selection tool, let me go ahead and make a couple uh, copies of this log. I'm just going to hold my mouse button down, hold my control key down. There we go. So now i got a few versions of this log. Move that one up there. Transform tool. There we go. One of those. One that's a little skinnier there. That one's fine. And I'm going to go ahead and take... I'm on my logs layer here, that's okay. So I'm going to take this log and move it kind of in front of those. Move this one up a little bit. Move it right there. And actually, it might be kind of good to have one kind of behind the scenes. So. I'm going to create a new logs back layer. Put that behind the flames. Go ahead and take this log off of my logs layer. And I'll do a cut. Jump to my logs back layer. I'm going to do an edit, paste in place. And then I can kind of stick it right about there. All right. Can't imagine a more beautiful campfire scene. Now, really what I want to do with this, though, is I want to work on the flames. I want to give the flames a little bit of animation. Keep in mind, I'm still inside of my campfire um, movie clip symbol. So I'm going to go to my flames, and let me go ahead and lock down my logs layers. And I just want to kind of mess with these flames a little bit. And I'm going to do a really simple frame-by-frame -frame animation. So I'll just jump over to frame 5. And, uh, in fact, before I do that, let me jump over to frame... 25 for my logs layer, and I'm going to go ahead and press F5, frame 25 for my logs back layer, press F5, 
extend those out. Then I'm going to go to frame 5 for my flames layer. And I'm going to do an F6 to insert a keyframe. And then basically I'm just going to mess around with these flames a little bit. Uh, I have my transform tool on. Let me go into a modify, transform, and I'm going to do a flip horizontal. We'll just kind of flip them around that way. Go to frame 10, press F6, and let me just kind of skew them a little bit. Then I have to move my flames up so they're not sticking out from the log there. Go to frame 15, F6, and I'll skew it down that way. Move it on up. Frame 20, F6, and let's see, let me... Uh, make it a little bit more narrow looking and skew it up and frame 25 F6 and this one I'll maybe I'll just rotate it just a bit make it a little bit shorter and there we go so basically I've created a frame by frame animation so if I press my enter key it'll look at my 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 fire is just kind of flickering around a little bit there but this is my movie clip animation it's made up of multiple layers one of the layers happens to have a little bit of animation on it so now that I've got that taken care of, I can jump back over to scene one. This was my original uh, graphic. I can actually delete that now. Because notice over in my library, I do have my little campfire symbol. There it is. It's my movie clip symbol. I can play it right there in the library, see how it looks. And if I want to, I can just, on my scene, I can take this campfire and I can put as many as I like right on there. Okay? And then I can test out my movie with a control enter. And now I have several little dancing campfires.